Working with animations. If you want to make your book more interactive, you can use the function to add animations to any text or picture. After highlighting the object, a button to add animation will appear on the properties panel. If you click it, then a customization dialog will appear. Firstly, you will be prompted to enter the endpoint coordinates for altering the object's position. The next step allows you to enter the final values for the object's scaling, rotation angle, and transparency. If you do not want to alter the proposed parameters, then you can simply skip the current step and move on by clicking the Next button. At the third stage, you will be prompted to customize the length of the animation and choose an animation effect. You can also loop the animation or make it revert to its original state. If necessary, you can customize the animation so that it plays when the object is clicked on. To finish customization, simply press Next. There are two other ways of setting the animation of an object in motion. If you go to Page Animation Controls, then you will see a list of objects that appear on the page, regardless of whether they are animated or not. If you choose Animation on Touch for the first object, then, when any part of the page is clicked, the first object's animation will start. Another option is the parameter Animation on Start. If, for example, you choose this for the second object when you are customizing the interface, then the animation of the second object will start as soon as the user comes onto the given page. Hence, there are three ways of starting the animation. Tapping the object, tapping any part of the page, and when the page itself is opened.